Here at PMC, we've, we've come up with a, what we call the PMC way. It's our model, and it's how we do business. And we like to start out with the assessment. Uh, we conduct an assessment. We create the baseline for the clients, uh, and we look at the different processes and their workflow, their workforce, the technologies. We work with your IT environment platforms, the operational excellence, environmental, ergonomics, and the occupational health and safety management systems of our clients. At that point, we create a gap analysis for the clients, look at their current business operations, get the internal corporate requirements. From the gap analysis, we create an action plan. This may include some key metrics, uh, driver solutions, such as customer satisfaction, supplier compliance, internal and external quality, cost reductions, ROI, and much more. And then we implement. That's, really, that's where the key comes in. We implement everything that we talk about. The actions defined from the PMC provides turnkey solutions. We provide packages. And we partner with our clients to implement the actions defined, along with creating risk assessments for both ways. And follow-up. Follow-up is always important. PMC will partner with you forever. Once we do for you, we continuously call. We continuously stay in touch with you to see how it's going, to see if everything we've implemented and everything we've recommended is working. Do we need to do more? Do we need to change our plan? But follow-up is always a key. So we don't just do a one-time project and walk away. We, we like to be your partner forever. PMC is a full-service industrial engineering and consulting firm. We provide process improvement services, software to manufacturing and service industries, utilizing our solid mix of experience, knowledge, and creativity. PMC finds and designs ways to improve the quality, efficiency, and productivity in the manufacturing and the service industries. Some of our specialties in our consulting services include advanced manufacturing, material handling, facility layout and design, CAD services, 3D modeling, laser scanning, industrial engineering, simulation modeling, and we do program and project management for nearly every type of project. We also have a staffing free arm and a training arm. We look at the advanced manufacturing and some of the things that we offer in the industrial engineering. We offer work measurement through MODAPs, through MOS, through MTM. We offer labor analysis and scheduling, ergonomic studies, Six Sigma services, line balancing, layout analysis and optimization. We also provide simulations. We increase throughput, capacity verification, enterprise profit modeling, waste reduction, constraint management, whip inventory, direct and indirect labors. All right along with that comes the lean manufacturing. So standardized work, once again, going back to time studies if we need to, or we can create work instructions for you. Process, system simulations, we do value stream mapping, uh, workplace design and ergonomics, workplace organizations through 5 and 6S, waste reduction, SPC errors and mistake proofing, visual management, problem solving, and we also create team concepts. PMC specializes in material handling, every type of material handling, handling densities, uh, resource allocation, production planning, flow, indirect labor, Kanban optimization, material displays, line side displays. We do, a, as I said, the digital engineering and CAD services. We include installation drawings, layouts, scannings, conversions, 2D and 3D design. We have a supply chain management, advanced planning scheduling softwares. We do network optimization, risk management, finite capacity scheduling, inventory reduction, material flow, and layout optimizations. Now we're going to get into this a little bit deeper. Through the production control and the material handling, we look at our layout. The overall layout showing a warehouse, showing the staging areas, routing, aisles, monuments, docks, detailed layout, diagrams, 2D and or 3D, station by station line design, summary of the material handling equipment and other requirements which you really truly need as compared to what you might have. We do a that static Dock analysis for a future state dock analysis. We include labeling, inbound and outbound, so that you always know how big, how much dock space you need. What do you need there? What's going to be there at what times of the day? The storage analysis. We look at the future state storage space requirements. Material flow. We look at park delivery sequence, aisle congestions, material handling equipment, and even the manpower. We offer the work measurement through MODAPs, through most, any, through any type of time and study time in motion study. We have a labor analysis, we do labor scheduling, workstation design and optimizations, ergonomics, Six Sigma, line balancing. Some of our material handling activities, you know, how we go about it, we start out by building what's called a PFEP, the plan for every part, which is a database, it's really your roadmap to all future material handling. 
we look at the material displays and how are they displayed. We look at the kitting, we look at sequencing, any subassembly areas that we have to look at. We look at the delivery route, the designs of those routes, the workload balance amongst those routes. We look at the dock and the storage analysis. And once again, we go, we'll go through this, we'll, we'll put it all in the laser scan in a 3D model for you. We, do, we also do facilities and equipment, which is something that you know, often people forget about, that if we, we change everything, if we change your flow, we change everything about it, we need to look at your facility. Is it going to accommodate the new flow? Do we need to make those changes? What recommendations can we make to you? As we look at the laser scanning and the 3D services, you can kind of see what we have here. If you look over on the left, this is actually a point cloud. It's a laser scan. It's a laser scan of a pad. Over to the right is the model of that exact same pad. Now, had, if this were the actual programs that we utilize, I'd be able to show this to you in 3D. But this is actually PowerPoint that we're looking at, so I'm, I'm a little bit limited as to what I can show you. But you can see the concept here. You can see that where the take the point cloud, and then we design it, we, we put it into the, to the model. As the model is, we can take that pad out, we can add a new pad in there, we can move the staircase, we can do anything we want to it and completely change it and show you in the same space exactly what will fit, what the dimensions are, and how we're going to get it in there. We've scanned over 100 million square feet of manufacturing, and we're experienced in Autodesk factory design suite and Siemens factory CAD. We're more than just a scanning and CAD. PMC employees on the average, we have more than five plus years experience just working in the manufacturing plants doing scanning, which is pretty good considering how young the whole scanning services of 3D modeling really is. We have dozens of complete factories. Hundreds of smaller projects have been completed by PMC. We do projects of every possible size, from the smallest to the biggest. Over on the left, you can see our laser scanner. It's, it's not much bigger than what you might consider a 1980s VHS player. On the right, you can see the point cloud. This is a point cloud of an actual door line. What, utilizing this point cloud, and once again, if we were in the soft, proper softwares, I'd be able to show you the measurements. I'd be able to take stuff out. I'd be able to put stuff in. We can show you exactly what we have here in these point clouds. So at any point, I can fly right through my factory and get a close-up of where I want to be, right through these robots to the other side. Over to the right, you can see the actual fly-through that I was talking about. These are a lot of point clouds all stitched together. I will play this more than once so that it can be seen. Once again, in the top right corner. So what are the purposes of this? You reduce a lot of time on site for inspection. As you fly through a factory, you can stop it at any point. You can zoom in. You can take a look at what you have. Uh, we can capture 100,000 square feet a day. As compared to the old conventional way of walking around with tape measures and pencils and writing everything down, you can't capture nearly that much. The accuracy is just undisputed, way, way more accurate than, than a tape measure. Got the ability to view and measure by anyone at any time, even during a meeting. The data acquired has multiple uses. As we said, we've been modeling 3D factories for over 15 years. Just millions of square feet have been done. And we also offer a highly effective offshore team to save, save a lot of money. You can do several things with these scans. You can, you can combine the point clouds and a new model. So it's what we've done here is we've actually added to this factory. We've gone in, we've scanned everything over on the left, and we created that point cloud. And then we began to do build, through modeling, new work cells. And we added them together. We can show you exactly where they're going to be, what the measurements are going to be between, and how they're going to fit. This is another situation. We've taken an oven and we brought it right through a plant. Taking this oven and set it in place, we took the actual point cloud of the plant and we set the oven in place on the point cloud. We can also use point clouds or use laser scanning and 3D modeling to show deflection when we're, in, we're installing certain things in, into racks or into rafters. You can actually see where you're going to have deflection at, what the issues are going to be. And we can correct that issue before the material is ever sent. Therefore, when you bring the material in, you only need to bring it in one time. You only need to buy material one time. There's no redesign. It's going to fit every time. So by doing that, you're actually driving those, those field orders way down. Anybody who's done major projects in the past, they always remember that you get the initial PO, and maybe that initial PO will come in at $15 million. It seems to always be another $10 million worth of rework or worth of field orders. You know, and, and as time has progressed, those numbers did level out a little bit. And as 3D got involved, as you begin 3D modeling, you can see that the numbers went way down. 
And now we're at the point with the 3D modeling where we can nearly completely eliminate the field orders. When field orders come back in, normally there's an error on the contractor's part. It's not an error on the other issues. So this normally will get pushed back to contractors and the field orders are no longer needed. This brings us to some of the typical challenges that we look at in manufacturing. We need to be able to adopting, adopt quickly to growing and fluctuating demands. We need to look at over and under utilization of resources. Batch sizing and sequencing the systems with the product mix issues. People always seem to have large WIP inventories and, and that really creates a problem. We, evaluating the system's readiness for new product introduction. How do you introduce new products? Where do we put it? What's the flow? Quantify the impact of operational uncertainties, such as downtimes. We evaluate facility expansions, control logic validations, frequent material shortages and line stoppages, and frequent overtime costs. How do we address all this? We address it through simulation modeling. We'll take all your information. We'll create a scope of work. We'll come in, we'll collect data. Then we're going to build an actual model of what you have, your operation, your actual operation. We're going to see your operation run. We're going to put it exactly the way you have it. We're going to verify that with you to ensure that it is correct. We're going to validate it once again, and then we're going to begin with some analysis. And upon our analysis, we're going to begin to experiment with different ideas and different what-if analysis. We're going to say, what if I did this? What if I do that? What's going to happen? And that's going to bring us to the point where we've managed to eliminate any blocks, any issues, and from there we can report everything out. Once we report it out, we'll help you implement the new changes. With the simulation, we kind of have different ways that we go about it. It's conceptual. We start off with the conceptual phase. We look at the layout, the design, the validation. We have a build phase, then we go into an operational phase. We use several different software packages based on the client and based on the needs. There's very few packages that we're not able to use. We can show this to you in 2D. And we can also do it in 3D for you, depending on the package. When you look at a flow simulation, sometimes you just want to see the static. You don't need to see all the other information that's coming along with that dynamic simulation. So we create the, the static simulation for you and eliminate the old string spaghetti charts, spaghetti diagrams that we always used. By utilizing our software packages, it's much cleaner, it's much neater, and we actually get real real-time results. We can compute the distance, the cost, the time, the aggregate level of the data. We ignore the dynamic interactions because at this point we just want to see the flow. So why do dynamic stimulation? Well, it really it comes down to one thing. It's to leverage those what-if scenarios. We can accurately estimate the minimum indirect labor. We can estimate staffing levels, and we can support production. We can identify and eliminate excess inventory, both at the line side in the marketplace and in the web. We can identify, eliminate risk, inefficiencies, in the material flow, and also at the machines. And within the stations, we can look at your throughput. We can identify exactly where your throughput is. We can identify your bottlenecks. We can also provide you with the 3D animation so that you can actually see your operation running on a computer screen, and we can make real-time changes so that those changes are going to be affected right now. We create a robust design by considering dynamic interactions between systems entities based on the current and on your future needs. So that's key. I could look out 10 years from now if you could tell me you know, what are our plans? Where do we want to be? How are we going to get there? Dynamic stimulation can bring us to that point and can show us the roadmap. Dynamic simulation creates the dynamic view of the material flow, as I talked about before with the 3D simulation. This is what we're looking at right here. It uses distances, cost, and time with variation to develop optimal conditions. It includes dynamic interactions. And then we can also optimize the line side inventory on this. So all this brings us to something. It brings us to what? It brings us to quality. If we're going to do all this work and we're going to improve our plant, how are we going to keep it going? We're going to have to create a quality system. Well, we have that answer, too. We create what's called the Document Control Policy System. We have a program that we call Compliant Pro. It's milled by Siemens. And these are the different menu items within Compliant Pro. Everything you see in blue comes standard with it. All the whites are additional add-ons that you can buy. Some of the global features are organizations that get rules based on the configurable workflows, uh, we're able to clone different different charts, different forms, different procedures. Uh, there is an escalation database built within it, so once you, once you create something, whether it be 
a report that needs to be approved or whether it needs to be a form that needs to be signed, even something as simple as a vacation form, the escalation process is automatic. It can categorize everything you want. So if you have an ISO inspection tomorrow, it never happens. But if you had an audit tomorrow, you can create very simply a report that gives you all the information that you possibly need for that inspection. Instead of scrambling like we all normally do for three weeks preparing for this inspection, it only takes a couple hours. So how does Compliant Pro address some of your pains? It's a flexible framework for creating all compliance documents. It enables users to acknowledge updates. It manages requirements throughout your compliance cycle. It performs supplier assessments and evaluations. It's extremely configurable. You also, it's very rapid deployment. We can have it up and running in, in very short order. It creates a complete occupational health and safety system also. So for ocean inspections, we're ready. So all these services we bundle up and we can bring to you. We can offer all these services in a very, very compact manner. We can do them all quickly, or we can partner with you for a very long term and create everything you want. Depending on what your current needs are, we can offer. We can offer a portion, or we can offer it all. So why would you go with PMC? We have a vast domain of knowledge. We're very big in the automotive industry. We have 30 plus years of experience. We have a large global team, real fast turnaround. We can work around the clock, where many other teams can't do that. We have a comprehensive offering of nearly every industrial engineering service, and we're all hands-on. Everybody here is hands-on, from the owner of the company right down to our brand new hires and, and our interns. These are the reasons we, we think EVMC is all you need.